Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC on Theatre Thursday as we take another look at some YouTube analogue series. Now for this one we're coming back to Mr. Manticore's Nixonverse and we've got some more videos up about the uh, the last sun, the D-Day night and things like that. Uh, I apologise if it's a little bit dark on the camera today. Uh, I've got my blackout curtains up to try and keep out as much of the sun as possible because it's the big day for the heatwave. Uh, before we start, I am going to do a little mini taste test of the new Coca-Cola uh, marshmallow uh, flavour. Uh, I've had it chilling in the fridge so it's uh, ready, for, uh, ready for me to cool down a little bit on this hot day. And here we go. Mm. Tastes like flumps. Okay, so we are going to get straight into it now. Um, the first video we have for the catch-up, excuse me, <clears throat> is The Sea of the Last Sun. So let's check it out. At the end of the Vietnam War, the last sun regained sentience. Devastated by his past actions, he fled to the sea and vowed to be peaceful. So yeah, for the whole thing, I guess he was, like, brainwashed. Like Jesus, he became a carpenter. Okay. The music, music is very ominous, isn't it? So even though, even though he's had, like, the eye removed and he's back to normal, he's still sort of... When he was in Vietnam, like, doing all the, like, fighting or what the, whatever it was, was he just crucified the entire time? Because if so, that's... That's quite disturbing that you're parading around Jesus' death. Death. Off the coast of dark Alaska. Dark Alaska? Um, Alaska was where his, like, Fortress of Solitude was. Right, because he's like super, super rotating. Okay, so is he like coming off now? Is he like breaking, f breaking free? No, he's not. A house. Oh, the house in the ocean is not an urban legend. It's a cover story. He actually found a way to tie the house in the ocean to. Greetings. Are you the being known as the Last Sun? Yes, I was. Oh, that is really... Who are you now? Oh, that's redacted. I have abandoned human matters for a peaceful existence. I inflicted enough damage on Vietnam. It was not you. You were not yourself. I was, and always will have been, a vessel for destruction. That's a really crunchy sound. Yet you have the will to change. Even now you resemble a house more than a human being. So is he like a shapeshifter then? Because he... It is a copy of my childhood home. It is how I wish to present myself to those I have heard. That's weird. <coughs> Your powers are more similar to a Lunarian king than a man. You may be the king in our prophecy. Join our kingdom and discover yourself. Of course, the crescent king is a crescent moon. I belong to no nation. And obviously the Lunarians are from the moon. Rule our kingdom. I will not. This is my domain, my sea. The sea of the last sun. Foolish, our prophecy is set. You will sit on the throne that is rightfully yours. No! Oh! <laughs> uh, all that crispy, crunchy audio, and he just straight up yells no. That's. Ooh. But what's happening here? It just like blew the top off the house? Oh, 
So a cloud ship, it's like a spaceship disguised as a cloud, I guess. Okay, so is that that's a person? Is that Superman? Last Sun? There we go. Jesus. And then is the next one going to be the Crescent King? Yeah, there he is. Oh, that was a weird sound. Evolution of the Last Sun. <sighs> I mean... How, how weird that must look out of context. I mean, even in context, that's weird. Okay, with Jacob Malinko. Hmm. Oh, and we're going straight into the next one. Right, uh, okay, so this one is called The D-Day Night Returns. So, okay, so there's been like a parallel with superheroes so far in this. So is like The Last Sun the equivalent of Superman and then The D-Day Night is the Dark Knight, like the Dark Knight Returns. So are they in fact separate characters? And if so, who are they? Anyway, let's jump into it. D-Day Knight Returns. Got face missing eyes there. After the Vietnam War ended, the Lost Son become the Crescent King. Lunarans used him to destroy language in America slowly. Changes were subtle. No one noticed long time. Oh dear. Eventually no one understood themselves. No one heard. No one spoke. Lunarans builded schools everywhere. Schools taught new language to us. Their language. <laughs> we hear their language no. We speak their language no. We think their language no. Oh god. English hard because our world is theirs no. It will take all time to relearn everything. The avenues. Um, so the avenues have been like the people in the description. Like in every description, there's been a message from the avenues. He began like most of you, a small boy in a small town. It was not an easy living. His parents were sharp like whips, and his classmates were sharper. The boy would get up every morning to clean his daddy's shop before going to school by himself. All by himself. On those long, lonely drives to school, the boy would think about his role in the universe. He liked to think his role was to help. Help not himself, but everyone around him. But in order to help everyone, he believed he first had to win. At any cost. Hmm. During one drive, he was particularly distracted by his thoughts. And he crashed into another car. The boy stepped outside and saw a dying man crumpled in the wreckage. The boy tried to pull him out, but the man was impaled between the seat and the wheel. That's the man looked Dean, the boy in it? the eye and said, You won, little bastard. You won. Then the man's life drained away. The boy okay. cried hard as he tried to yank the dead man out. Out of pain or exhaustion, the boy fainted. And he had a heavenly dream. The boy was on a cliff by the sea. He was very afraid. Okay. A car was rushing up behind him. If the boy stood still, he would be hit. 
So the boy dove off the cliff. As he fell faster and faster, he believed harder and harder. And just as he was going to hit the water, the boy was swept up back into the air, and he found himself flying over the sea faster than an airplane. When the boy woke in the street, he still believed, and he found himself flying away from the scene. Win, at any cost, so that I can save everyone, the boy thought, as he cut through the warm, open sky. Hmm. Editing Kak here. Okay, so I noticed something that just didn't sit right with me through this whole thing. So if we take a look at this original video here from The Last Son of Alcatraz, we see this monologue of Dean as he gets hit by a car. Notice this car here and see the number on it. That is 130. That is the car that kills James Dean. However, in the video we just saw, we see this collision between two people, James Dean and quite possibly Nixon. Neither of these cars has the number on it. But the second car that comes up afterwards and chases Nixon off the cliff has the same 130 on it. So did Nixon have foresight about Dean and decide to kill him himself rather than letting this 130 car hit him? Might just be a matter of the different universes at play here, but I thought that was an interesting detail. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I think... Jesus. Hmm. So, after broadcast, Knight dropped Alice Avenue off Chrysler Building. No one's gone forever, do not share their secrets. Okay, I was going to say that I had some ideas there, but then that happened at the very end, so I don't know. Okay, so let's uh, try and put this out. Right at the very beginning, when Nixon verse happened, people thought that uh, the last son was James Dean because of the... Um, uh, you know, the monologue of James Dean speaking over the car crash and things like that. Um, but it seems like he still is a player in this, and I'm thinking perhaps... So, from what we saw from that story there, uh, the boy um, was uh, the last son as a child, possibly Nixon, if the whole last son is Nixon thing is true, and he was the one who accidentally killed James Dean. Uh, James Dean was the one dying in that, um, in that animation there. Um, and the boy was the last son, somehow. Um, and now the last son obviously has gone on to become um, both Jesus and finally the, the Crescent King. And the Crescent King has taken language away from America, um, and in an attempt to sort of fight against the king, reverse the king, uh, it was saying, they need the D-Day Knight to come back, and so it may be possible that the D-Day Knight is James Dean, and has been since the beginning, but he died, but it's the other James Dean from the other universe, perhaps. I don't know, the more I say this, the less it makes sense, but nothing about this makes sense. So that is my thought. Um, the, last, the last son um, went on to become the Crescent King and becomes God, who was Nixon, maybe, and the D-Day Knight was James Dean from the alternate universe where the one in this one died, but they called him the Knight and he wants... I'm going to stop here. 
but before it gets any more crazy but that is the basic gist of my uh, theory here that the last son has been corrupted into the crescent king and the d-day knight is or was james dean and must be revived and that, but then i don't know why the knight at the end there dropped alice avenue off of the chrysler building um so i think that might be who grandma is actually because remember at the beginning of i think um queen of the lunarians and uh lost eye of jesus christ the person delivering to character was talking about grandma and because all the videos have been uploaded by the avenues i'm thinking that's the avenue family and that alice avenue was the grandma alice avenue being like an obvious xp of lois lane so yeah tying that all together that was very interesting um there may be more yet in the future uh, if there's another video i'll tack this on here but if not then i'll go straight into the outro so i'll wait a couple of moments to see what happens okay so that is it for this video um i'm not sure what's going on uh hopefully there's something in my theory that comes to fruition but otherwise i have no idea but always, always a treat to watch some uh, Mr. Manticore stuff. I loved all the Monument Mythos. I've loved everything so far in the Nixonverse. And it's really interesting how he was able to take the House of the Ocean and sort of put it into this in some way. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. But until next time... Thank you all for joining me. If you did enjoy, then please do like, comment and subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. If you have any theories of your own of what's going on here, then please let me know to try and get me back on track because uh, God knows what's going on right now. And aside from that, if you have any other videos that you'd like me to watch or react to, any video games that you'd like me to play, any taste tests that you'd like me to do, any challenges, or if you just want to say hello or ask a question, then let me know down below. Nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So until next time, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.